Howdy guys, you guys here, welcome back. So let's play Rayman 2, The Great Escape. In this part, we are really going to the bars you... Cool intro, huh? Saw that? He ate the yellow lamb in the Nintendo 64 version. And yes, that lamb is really taken away. So you only have to collect 999 lambs. As with the PlayStation, he eats a red lamb, which is, uh, well, to compensate that there are already uh, so few lambs in there. But yeah, there are really thousand lumps in the Nintendo 64 version, but it's hidden away. I'll show it in a later level. Anyway, don't forget the skate in the Nintendo 64 version. And I'm also doubting whether to say Nintendo 64 or PC. They're the same, but I'm really playing the PC version. The remastered version. And yes, I feel there. Because I was, I was shooting for those flying uh, bombs. Anyway, this level is... In both versions, it is all the same. Except for lump placements. And, of course, why am I yelling? Except for lump placements and for enemy placements. These lumps don't know out of the top of my head. It's been a while since I played this. First Christmas Day. Yes, we have two Christmas days. But on first Christmas I recorded this, then I stepped into the train. And... Well, this is the first video since then. Because I... Uh, recorded three videos in a row. From the Marshes of Awakening to the Bayou. Anyway, this is the... Anyway, there's a... Purple pirates in the Nintendo 60 on the yeah Nintendo 64 version, but also be sure to escape those zombie chickens. If I was yeah zombie chickens, really they're called zombie chickens. Nothing really much to tell here, but that there are that those lumps that on the back there aren't there in the. PlayStation version, or they might be. Ah well, not important. But also important to show that last clip. Don't know why I'm silent right now. Anyway, don't forget to go to your left cage, obvious cage. Both versions, except for the lumps in the cages. And you might hear another one, which is right under there. It's also fun, you can just walk through there, but on the PlayStation version... First, uh, rush to the cage, but on the PlayStation version there's a pirate there. The cage is also there, the reason I didn't grab the cage is because I already picked it up, but then went to the pirate and he kicked me into the water. And then I died. <coughs> Anyway, I like close combat with pirates. You might see that uh, in the course of this let's play. Oh my god, it's a gorilla pirate. We will be seeing those in the in this episode too. They are invincible, but they're also dumb. They can kill themselves. But I'm going to show that later. Not in this level. Anyway, this area. If I think of the Baju, I think of this. The root of the tree with the. Parana on top. 
this is really my image of this entire level. And I still like it, you know. So playing this for not for eight years and then playing this, it's fun. Never knew about the differences up until some cages. But anyway, from the Nintendo 64 version, there's a pirate there. On the PlayStation version, there's a gorilla pirate over there, which I'm not showing. But there will be another one in this level in both versions. Where I check out if there's nothing. Hit the switch. Anyway. And to be honest, I think this is pretty well succeeded episode in the means of, uh, well, comparison, comparing, you know, well, video material, not the commentary, I suck, I know, there's nothing really to talk about and I do want to entertain you guys, if you rather have me talk only about the uh, important details, please, show, give it to me. Anyway, we come here, we arrive at this spooky place because of the height of the tree. Wood cut, I was, uh, anyway, right over there in the mouth, where I'm stop failing. Yes, in the PlayStation version there's a sneaky lump, but it's hard to miss. By the way, yeah, there's a gorilla pirate. You can't hit them. But... They can run off a ledge if you uh, provoke them to. And then they will die, but I didn't do it here. It was necessary because they stopped following you here. Anyway, nothing that hard, just evade those sights. But you will make it on time. In the PlayStation version, pick up the Happy Lum. Not present on Nintendo 64. And this is the last area, last room. Don't forget the cage over there. There we get a uh, grasshopper thing. Something like Murphy, I forgot the real name. Green hopper, green gr grass, something. To give you your life. Yeah, I don't, I don't remember. Of course, I have to get all the way up here. But God, these are cool. And yeah, let's have a dance, okay? With the teensy. Thinking about if I talked about everything I wanted to discuss in this episode. I think I've done a great deal. Yeah, can't think of anything. Anyway, on Nintendo 64 sp screen, act as granted to the boat with another glow box. This part of the fair is just for Rayman. Whoa, spikes, Batman. Of course, I suck a little at the beginning, but I'll manage. I need a name for glow box. I thought about it in the cutscene, but I can't think of a cool name. Not Leroy, obvious. Leroy glow box. Throw. Come on, Jethro Globox. His reference to Leroy. Bravo, you're really fast. 25 seconds. I enjoy watching out for the later ones. <coughs> no, not Jethro. Obvious NCRS reference. Leroy Jethro. Gibbs. You'll hear from me in the next episode. And if I'm quick, I even can upload this today. Anyway, also this is going to be very hard for me, but I must do it. Here on the PlayStation version, the next level is... Come on. The next level is Whale Bay in 3-2-1. Whale Bay, where you get the mask. But on the Nintendo 64 screen, the Sanctuary of Water and Ice. And... 
I'm going to stop episode here. The Sanctuary of Water and Ice, really, that is the final level. Will Bay on Nintendo 64 is later in the game, but Will Bay on PlayStation 1 really is two levels in one, which I'm going to cut in a way. But you'll find out next time, because this is too much black screen of death. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope your 2012 Christmas and everything started great. And I wish you all a happy, well, happy New Year. It's already happy. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it.